All right, welcome again to another exciting tutorial from a Jamaican guy who has absolutely nothing to do but teach class. All right, we're at Blender again, and what we're going to be looking at is just setting our very simple scene so we can work on the setting a smooth shading face, um, smooth shading, look at subdivision surfaces, and also adding a few materials to our object. So it's a very simple scene. We're going to be using our cube. I'm going to add a floor uh, so that you can just hit space bar and choose add plane. Plane is really just a two-dimensional surfaces. If we looked in our polygons tutorial that we had before, then you'll be able to see that the different polygons um, and a plane is one of them. So I'm going to scale this up about 40 times its ordinary size. So press S, hit 40, and we get 40 times its normal size. Next one, right-clicking on this, pulling this up, right? And we're going to add a monkey. Just pull the monkey up. I'm going to go in orthographic view, which is 5 on the numpad. You can see my shortcuts with my screencast keys. And let's just quickly turn around using 6. And just rotate this about like this. And carry this down using your manipulators. I'll scale my monkey in just slightly so it's a little smaller. And just put it down. Once you do that, we need to carry the camera up to get a nicer looking uh, composition in terms of 3D space. So shift F for your slide by mode and just carry it up. All right, just that. Probably carry it around a little bit, uh, like so. If you want to, you can put this as a first person shooter kind of perspective. Uh, what I'll do for my camera, if you've never heard of. Um, Rule of thirds, it's a composition term where you can get a better look based on the thirds that are in your scene. So um, let's select our camera for one and just change the settings so I can actually see my rule of thirds here. Composition guides, thirds. So it looks like there's a good rule of thirds. The monkey is the focus there. Once you have that, Let's see what the render looks like. F12. By default. Shh, 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 shut up. <laughs> Recording. Jeez. All right. So this is Blender's default renderer. Uh, it's it's not a bad renderer, but you need to tweak a few settings in order to get the results you want. What we'll be using this time around is Cycles Renderer, and I'll just press F12 again, and you see the difference. So that's Cycles Renderer. This is just our default look for everything. It's, yeah, it's not bad. All right, so that's how it looks in this particular scene. We have um, one. Well, let's get out of this view. This is all we have so far. Everything is fine setting up. Our lamp is over here. It's just a light source that's there. And... Once you have those set up, then we're good to go. So this is a very simple scene. What we're going to do is I want to show you um, how to get smooth shading and also look at subdivision surfaces, which is a modifier in 3D. So I'll just simply highlight these two, and I'm going to duplicate them by pressing Shift-D to duplicate, and I'll just carry them out on the x-axis. So we're going to have three of them. Shift-D, then X. And I can just that. So now we have three monkeys. And I'll just change the composition again. Just carry this up so that those things are in scene. And what we'll do afterwards is just play around with the settings a bit. Now, this is the original one. This is what we have called flat shading. This is Susan, by the way, that's the monkey in Blender. Um, this is flat shading. They call it flat shading because you can actually see all the faces that actually go into this particular model. And that's it for that part. You also have smooth shading, which I'm going to apply to this. Simply right click on the object, hit smooth shading here. If you can't find the option for any reason, just hit spacebar, type in S M O O T H, shade smooth. What it does, it kind of averages the shading and it looks a lot smoother however the geometry is exactly the same so you still have those sharp edges right so that's smooth shading it doesn't change the geometry the last one however 
And I'll actually duplicate this one more time because there's two things. Shift D X again. Uh, for this one, what we'll do is apply what we call a modifier. A modifier allows you to manipulate the object without actually setting it in stone, allowing to kind of well, modify it, as it says. So add modifier, you have one that says subdivision surface. And if you hit subdivision surface, it actually smooths out the geometry of the mesh. Right? But this still has flat shading. So what I'll do is just do the same thing. Subdivision surface, and just saying, right, if you increase the view amount, you can actually increase the resolution of the monkey. Truth of the fact is, is that it's still, if you look at it closely, it's still flat shaded because you can still see the polygon. Right, but if you hit smooth, you get a much smoother mesh. Right, and I'm going to lower the view to two or even one, because you still see a significant amount of difference just with combining this with smooth shading and you can get better results. So, three monkeys. One with flat shading at its most basic level. The next one is just the same basic monkey with uh, smooth shading. This one has a modifier on there called subdivision surface, which smooths out the geometry itself, or the surface, if you want to call it that. And this one, actually has both subdivision surface as well as smooth shading. So I'm going to wrap up here, and then when we come back, we're going to actually put some materials on our monkey. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Have fun. Yeah.